Hey folks, welcome back to Honey Money SG. And you know what? I fully automated my dollar cost average investing strategy. So in this video, I will share with you how I actually automate my $4,000 worth of dollar cost average investments every month and so that you can actually learn from it and adapt it whether it suits you or not, but it's definitely not financial advice. I'm just sharing what I'm doing, right? So don't copy me unless you know what you're doing. But before that, let me talk about the mindset of why I want to fully automate my investments instead of doing all these manual transfers and placing in the orders. I think ultimately, Investing is more about the heart than about the brain. No matter how smart you are, if you don't have the heart and the guts to actually tide over a severe market volatility period like this year in year 2022, then I think it's better for you to just dollar cost average because your emotions will be kept in check. You don't have to look at the markets every day because you know that your orders have been placed. You don't have to like log into your traders, brokers app and key in the orders. And sometimes you might feel painful looking at your unrealized losses on the brokerage app. So I think this automated dollar cost average investing strategy suits me but it may not suit you because you want to catch the highest and the lowest price. You want to time the market. That's really up to you, okay? You may make better returns. That's good for you, you know? I'm happy for you. But I will just share what I'm doing right now. First up, let's talk about CPF investments. And one of my CPF portfolio is with Money Hour because Money Hour recently just introduced their CPF portfolios earlier this year. And I wanted to dollar cost average $1,000 into their 100% equity portfolio, which actually invests in the Lion Global Infinity Global Stock Index Fund Class C SGD. This is actually a unit trust that tracks the MSCI World Index. So it will consist of companies from all around the world, like US, like Europe. And since it is tracking the MSCI World Index, that will be quite similar to your cash investments like in VWRA, ISAC, all these kind of World Index ETFs, just that this time it is held in the unit trust. And the reason why I actually invest in unit trust is because for CPF, you cannot really invest in this kind of global ETF. You have to go through like robo advisors where they can buy unit trust on your behalf. So of course, I know that there are cheaper alternatives if you're using cash, but we're talking about CPF investing here and how I can automate it uh, before you ask. And the automatic deduction is held on the 15th calendar of each month. So I don't think you can change the date for money hour. It's set at 15 as a default and you can't change it. That's fine. I will just leave it as 15 calendar day. And with each CPF transaction, you have to pay a transaction fee. That will be $2.40 since I'm using UOB. It's one of the cheaper ones compared to DBS and OCBC. Of course, the $2.14 doesn't include like your total expense ratio charged by the unit trust fund holder, Lion Global Infinity, and also the platform fee charged by Money Hour. But Money Hour is currently running a promotion. I think it's fee free for the whole of 2022 for CPF portfolio. That's why I wanted to try it out. So if you want to sign up for Money Hour, then you can use my referral link down below because I think you can get some free vouchers or grab food credits in your account. My next CPF investment is in Endowers. And I'm sure many of you have heard of Endowers whether through my channel or other channels sharing about Endowers. And I actually invest in their Fun Smart portfolio, which means it's a 100% customizable portfolio. And in this Fun Smart portfolio, I actually only choose one product, which is the Lion Global Infinity US 500. This is actually a unit trust that tracks the S&P 500 index. And I stress this one more time, I definitely know that there are cheaper alternatives if you are using cash to invest in S&P 500, like your VOO, SPLG, or even CSPX, VUSA, VUSD, all these kind of Ireland domicile ETF. I also know all of them, but just that because it's CPF investing, you can only buy unit trust you cannot buy ETFs. So I do dollar cost average every month around $1,000 monthly into Endowers Fund Smart Portfolio buying the S&P 500 unit trust. And I deliberately set it on the first calendar day because you remember 15 calendar day, that's for my money I work. So first calendar day, that's a sufficient 15 days apart from my next investment with CPF. So they kind of balance out each other, right? So that I can dollar cost average the market more effectively. And likewise, because it is a CPF investment, it will be charged around $2.14 per CPF transaction. And let's not forget that for every CPF portfolio that you hold, you actually need to have a quarterly charge of $2.14 as well. That is additional on top of your CPF usual transaction and orders. Every quarter, they will just charge you a $2.14 fee per portfolio. And of course, Endowers is not a charity and they have to charge on the total expense ratio. Like the fund level fees and the Endowers platform fees, I think it will come up to around 0.6 plus percent per annum. 
which is significantly higher than an ETF, but you really have no better alternative to invest your CPF. So I'm good with using Endowers for buying this. And if you sign up using my referral link with Endowers, you can get $20 free in excess fee credits to help you offset the significant cost of this like platform charges, excess fee, management fee charges. So I think that's quite a good deal, right? I help you, you help me. Thank you. I know you folks are tired of seeing Weibo apps because you are smart people. You all have gotten your free Apple shares and free Microsoft shares since the last few months. But you know, there are still some people who are clueless and haven't got their free stocks from Weibo yet. So this month, Weibo is actually offering you $100 worth of Google shares once you have deposited $1,965 and make 6 buy trades. The other condition is that each buy trade has to be at least 100 USD and the condition is that you have to hold your $1,965 for at least 30 days until the stock voucher is credited. But you may ask why such a funny number $1,965? It is to signify Singapore's years of independence since 1965. Happy National Day and as a channel with SG in its name, very proud to be a Singaporean so I hope that this $100 worth of Google shares can make your day better. And that is so we can be stronger. Majula. Next up is Scythe Trade. I actually talk about Scythe Trade several times in my channel as well. And for Scythe Trade, I'm going to invest 1000 SGD monthly into the ETF called QQQM. For those who don't know what QQQM is, it's generally a brother to QQQ NASDAQ 100 ETF, just that it has a much lower management fee. So I just invest in this QQQM ETF every month using Scythe. And Scythe just had a new feature introduced this month. It's a recurring order, which means you can just put your buy orders and set it up so that you can just automate your orders every month. And because you know that Scythe will give you two free trades per month after the promo period, which means you can actually just set up two automated trades every month without your interaction. The only human interference you may need is to actually transfer money into Scythe. But you know that that can be automated as well because that's what I just did. I just set up my standing instruction with DBS and transfer to the HSBC corporate account with Scythe and that will just transfer my money every month by gyro automatic deduction. And I don't even have to do anything else. Every month, Scythe will just take money from my DBS account, fund it into Scythe trade and then the side trade will execute my trades automatically based on what I set. And how I set my buy orders is that I have two orders every month, so I will just set it on the 7th and 22nd calendar day. Why these two days is because it is 7 days from the first calendar day and 7 days from the last calendar day, so that I have more effective dollar cost average over the entire month, right? You remember, my first calendar day is for end hours, my 15th calendar day is for money hour, so my 7th and 22nd day is for side trade. And since I have to split the orders into two trades, that will be 500 SGD each. 500 SGD is around USD $360. So each of my order is actually $360 USD worth of fractional shares of QQQM. And that is how I automate it. Two orders of QQQM at $360 each. And how Scythe Trade executes the order is that in the pre-market, they will actually place the order first. And then once the market open, they will just execute based on the existing market open price. So see you hang sway or good luck or not, right? Because market open, it may be really high and then dropping. Or it may be really bottom and then it strike up. Since you really cannot time the market, you might as well just let Scythe decide whether you should buy in or not. Also, I do have a referral for Scythe Trade as well. If you use my promo code Honey Money, you can actually get some cash gifts as a new user. So do use my referral code and don't sign up blindly for nothing. My last dollar cost average investing strategy will be with DBS Invest Saver RSP, Regular Savings Plan. I actually do invest 1000 SGD monthly into their Invest Saver RSP and specifically into the STI ETF. Now, I know what you guys are thinking already. Singapore market is so crappy, so lousy, so low growth. Why are you investing in the Singapore? Singapore market. Of course, on hindsight, you may think that Singapore is really performing badly, but you must know that I already have significant investments in the US and even the world market. I have S&P 500, I have MSCI World Index, I also have investments in the NASDAQ 100. So what's left for diversification is really the Singapore local market. And the reason why I choose DBS is 
very simple. It's really for the POSB cashback bonus. You see, you actually get 3% cashback bonus up to 1000 SGD per month if you actually invest with POSB or DBS using their investment products. And InvestSaver happens to be the eligible product, which means that if you put in $1,000 monthly in this product, you can get 3% back. And of course, I know the sales charge is around 0.82%, but if you net it off 3% minus 0.82%, you're getting around 2.2% percent of guaranteed cashback you see that is guaranteed returns not talking about market volatility yet but one thing you must note for this POSB cashback bonus program is that you need to fulfill some other categories before your POSB cashback bonus is eligible to be paid out and of course your investment product only lasts for 12 cycles which means for 12 months every 12 months you have to switch out your product you cannot keep buying the SCI ETF forever. So once I've reached my 12th cycle, I will actually stop this RSP and buy into another product of the Investable, be it like a REIT ETF or even bond ETF. You just have to switch around all these products. So I think I covered all of my automated investment strategies, right? Total of $4,000. I have $1,000 with Money Owl, $1,000 with End Hours, $1,000 with Side Trade, and $1,000 with DBS, total of $4,000. If you look at it, 50% is actually CPF investments and 50% of it is cash investments. Then you must be wondering, I have $2,000 worth of CPF to invest every month. Is that even possible since like the CPF contribution cap on your salary is max up to $6,000 of salary? But that's only possible because I have reached the full retirement sum in the special account and of course the basic healthcare sum in the MediSafe account. And that's why my OA is supercharged to do such investments. And if you're interested interested to doing a deep dive on what is the comparison between money hour versus end hours which is the main portfolio that you should invest your cpf in then you should look at this video because i'll compare money hour versus end hours again just to show you guys where should you park your cpf investments in with that thank you for watching my name is christopher this is honey money sg steering young adults to financial independence